Jesus. Father, we thank you, Holy Spirit, for this awesome week. We thank you for this awesome day. We thank you for everything that you're doing in our lives. We thank you. Awesome, awesome, Bali. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for everybody who is tuning in. Um, Facebook, how are you doing this morning? How are you doing on YouTube as well? Hallelujah. So everybody is on board. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you guys ready for the week? Are you guys ready for the week? Somebody type in the comment section. It is my time. It is my time. It is my time. It is my time. Hallelujah. I have themed today, this morning. It is my time. As you know, every single Monday, when we get together, we get to blast out and we command the week. We don't only command the morning, but we also command the week. There is something powerful about your time. And normally I say there's a difference between when it is your time and there is a difference when it is is your turn so in faith on facebook there on youtube also help us type in the comment section saying it is my time because from the time that we progress we move on to it is my turn so not only will it be your time but there's a turn so i'm gonna help us transition through that i don't know whether we'll get to our turn but this is definitely the time the lord has ordained for us and this is the prophetic word that is coming on this protocol breaking prayer platform and this altar so there's a difference as i was as i was saying uh between your turn and your time good morning mom kathy on facebook it is there's a difference when it is your time it might not necessarily be your turn when it is your turn it might not necessarily be the timing that god has ordained for you okay so when it is your time and it is not your turn but you are ready you might be ready and you are saying god it is my time and you might be saying it is uh, my time but it might not be your turn and 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 you are feeling like you are ready but no opportunity has come through yet and sometimes when it is your turn and it is not your time but you have the opportunity but you are not ready for it okay so this morning my desire and my uh, prayers, my prayers and my prophecy would be that in this season, you will come into your turn. We will transition you from your timing to your turn. And hopefully you are not only going to be ready, but we are, as we are um, commanding the timing and the turning, and we are also making sure that you are ready because opportunities are going to come streaming left, right, and center. Tell your neighbor again, it is my time. Some Somebody tell your neighbor again, it is my time. Hallelujah. I kick off the scripture this morning from Numbers chapter 27 verse 1. Hallelujah. The book of Numbers chapter 27 verse 1. I'm going to read about three or four verses and we're going to go into, into prayer as we are led and we hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Hallelujah. It is your time and it will be your turn. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Then came the daughters of Zelophehad, the son of Hepha, the son of Gilead, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh, of the families of Manasseh, the son of Joseph. And these are the names of his daughters. Daughters, Martha, Noah, and Hogla, and Milka, and Teza. Verse 2 says, And they stood before Moses, and before Eliezer the priest, and before the princes, and all the congregation, by the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, saying, Our father died in the wilderness, and he was not in the company of them that gathered themselves together against the Lord in the company of Korah, but died in his own sin and had no sons. Why should the name of our father be done away from amongst his family? Because he hath no son. Give, they were questioning the patriarchy and all this. Give unto us, therefore, a possession among the brethren of our father in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We see some strong women here who are saying, we understand that you are saying there is no son. There is no firstborn son who is going to take over whatever our father was entitled to. But we are here. Give us reasons why you are saying you are saying it is not our time. Give us reasons why you are saying it is not 
not our turn. Give us reasons why we should not take our possessions. Hallelujah. There comes a time in our spirit, man, that we need to be so angry that we need to demand and command the spirit realm and everything around us to say it is our time, it is our turn, and we're going to take over whatever the Lord has set aside for us. So this morning, as we begin to pray, Father, I thank you for these ones that have arisen this morning. I thank you, Lord, that our time for change has come. Our time for change is here in the name of Jesus Christ. And for that, my God, I declare that we are grateful. We are grateful, oh God. Everybody who is streaming from every platform that we are we are coming through, we are broadcasting on everybody who's at the sound of my voice. Lord, I, I, I stand in the gap with them, oh God. I stand in the gap for them, my God. I stand to declare and decree, Lord, that we are grateful, Lord, that you saw us through till this period of the year, till this month, June. We are halfway through the year that you are going to see us through the whole of the year as well. Thank you, Lord, for a new beginning in this week. No longer, not even just the new beginning of just this morning, but Lord, we thank you in advance that we are experiencing new beginnings in this week in the name of Jesus Christ. Irrespective of our story, whatever our story has been since the beginning of the year, irrespective of our stories, what they have been in the past years, uh, irrespective of what the story might have been yesterday, I declare to somebody this morning, you have started this morning with a new beginning. Somebody keep on declaring in the comment section, it is my time. Come on, somebody talk to me. Father, release the grace to break all forms of status quo in our lives uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, whatever has tied us down up until this moment, Father, release us everything. Release the grace that we will move forward in this week in the name of Jesus Christ. The daughters of Zelophehad rose up. My God, this morning we have risen up and come on this altar to say to, to you, God, let help arise in our state. It is our time. We are arising. We are asking for help. We say let help arise in the may name of Jesus like the daughters of Zelophehad made a choice to do something about their destiny, Father God. Every single person that has arisen this morning has chosen to come this morning before you to do something about their destiny. They have chosen to come and ask in their boldness and to say the Lord must help them to make sure that they materialize their time and their turning in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we are here. We are determined to do what we need to do to change whatever needs to change to make sure that we possess our possession before the year is over. Father, we will not be complacent. We will not sit back until the year is over to be praying for another prayer point for next year. Lord, uh, Lord, we want the manifestation of whatever we prayed for last year to already be happening. Father God, to the extent that we have missed any milestone up until now, Father, we thank you, Lord, that it is our time. It is our turn. It is our season, oh God. We will manifest in this month of June and beyond. Somebody shout it again. It is my time. I and the ones that you have given even me, my God, Makoria Masonda Kiaba Sende. We might have been considered an outcast, but the year before this year comes to an end, we will be recognized in the name of Jesus Christ. Whoever has looked down on you, I decree and I declare you will be recognized in the name of Jesus Christ. Every ancient tradition that has been saying that we do not qualify because of patriarchal defense or whatever it is, my God, my God, I don't know what is that ancient ritual, ancient tradition tradition that has kept you back in the darkness. The Lord is opening your eyes this morning and the Lord is giving you the grace to confront that thing. Somebody shout it again and confess it with me. It is my time in the name of Jesus Christ. When you track to verse 2 of Numbers 27, the Bible says that they stood before Moses. Somebody say I'm standing up. Somebody needs to stand up against whatever is confronting you, against whatever traditions that have been limiting you, against whatever that has been telling you that you will not make it. They not only stood before Moses, but they also stood before priests. The same way Hannah said, I will not be let go. I will not be let back. I will not be pushed back. I will go into the temple and I will cry and weep as much as I want because I want my destiny. I want my child. I want my fruit of the womb. Somebody has risen this morning and saying, I'm here to push yet again, my God. I am yet to, I'm ready to stand before anybody around me. I'm ready to stand in the middle of the congregation. I'm ready to stand by the door of the tabernacle. I'm ready to shout until the Lord hears me. I'm ready to shout until the son of David has mercy on me. Talk to me, somebody. I am here this morning to say, Lord, relocate me to my rightful place. Relocate me to my 
my rightful inheritance in this month, in this week, in this day, this Monday morning, in the name of Jesus Christ, on this, the 12th of June, I am ready to stand and I say, Lord, relocate me. Shout it again and say, it is my time. My God, whatever that is in front of who I need to stand, Makoria Masanda, wherever it is, and in front of whoever I need to stand in order to move forward, grant me the grace to discern who is the person I need to overcome take who is the person blocking my way who is the person i need to overtake my father my father in the name of jesus christ on the day i need to finally stand to something greater to something positive let me not break down let me not break down at the point of breakthrough let me not break down when the door is about to open let me not break down because i sense there's the spirit realm the lord is saying that the day to stand is today the day for your greatness is today the day day for your greatness is now. The day of the things turning positive from the negativity today is now. Somebody shout, it is now in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, I will no longer walk in darkness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, we will no longer walk in darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. Do it for us, oh God. Open the doors so that men will see your glory. Open the doors of this week. Open the doors of June. Open the doors of 2023 so that men will see your glory in us oh God in the name of Jesus Christ Father I declare and I decree that we refuse to be intimidated from pursuing what the enemy has stolen from us in the name of Jesus Christ Father we take back what the enemy has stolen from us in the name of Jesus Christ Father whatever in the wilderness wherever we may be right now there is a turnaround that is bringing us to our rightful place we don't care Lord what the what our ancestors have done before we are turning it around we are disassociating ourselves from whatever sin, from whatever uh, covenants that were evil that they covenanted themselves on. Father, we declare and decree that we are separated by the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus has blotted out any covenant blood that has tied us uh, to evil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, thank you, Lord, that you have brought us to the front of oh God. You have brought us and given us the boldness of oh God. You have given us the power to speak. Somebody shout, I'm speaking today. I will speak. I will speak. I will speak. I I will speak. It doesn't matter you are a woman. It doesn't matter you are a child. You will speak. You will speak. You might be coming from a family of drunkards who are just, you know, useless and they don't seem to want to fight and you've got elders that don't want to fight for your destiny if you are a teenager you're a child it is your time to speak i want you to declare it right there in the comment section i will speak i will speak i will speak right from today i will order things around i will dis i will disassociate my family and my siblings from the lineage that has been a broken lineage from a lineage that has been plagued by witchcraft i will disassociate them right Right now, I'm changing around the destiny of my siblings. I'm changing around the destiny of my children. I'm, I'm changing around my destiny in the name of Jesus. I will not go down like my grandparents God went down. I will not go down like my friends or family or whoever, whoever has passed on has gone down. But I will be lifted up wherever they were. If they were walking in greatness, my God is elevating you be, 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 be above that greatness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shouted like, Again, I will speak. It is my time. I will speak. Nobody is going to hold me back. Father, let help me to articulate this in front of you. Help me to articulate and have the right words to speak to those uh, wherever you position me, God, in front of authority. I will speak in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me not die without fulfilling my heavenly ordained dreams in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me not fail to push before my midwife comes. Let me not fail to push when my midwife is doing the most in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody declare, I will not die. I will fulfill my dream ordained destinies in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, when I get old and I'm due to go from this earth, let me not be a liability to people. Let me not be a liability to people. Right now, my God, any sickness and disease that has been threatening to lower me, any sickness and disease that has been threatening to suppress me, right now, my God, I declare and I declare 
declare, I shall not be a liability. I will not be a burden to anybody. Right now, Father God, I receive my healing to stand and I decree and I declare that I'm ready to stand. I am taking up my bed and I'm walking in the name of Jesus Christ because the Lord I serve is better than the people who are who are just tolerating me. I will associate myself and I will find my places in places where I'm being celebrated in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout it again. It is my time in the name of Jesus Christ. I will not be found in the company of people who disobey you in the name of Jesus Christ that my fathers have disobeyed you. It is not my fault. I ask for mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, help me to ask the questions that will change my life. Let me not speak amiss. Let me not speak in sin. Let me not speak death with my mouth. Let my tongue speak according to what is ordained. Let my tongue speak according to your will. Let my tongue be assertive and in order, Lord, that I may release what I need to get from you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I reject every spirit of disadvantage and disappointment. In the name of Jesus Christ, anywhere I go, advantage shall be my portion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, whatever you have planned and you have ordained for us, Father, we decree and we declare this morning that we shall not be denied in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see the Lord saying, I am restoring all that has been stolen from you in the name of Jesus Christ. We are help, the help that the Lord you have asked for, the help is here in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, release my possessions in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your help come through. I know you are a faithful God in the name of Jesus Christ. My father, my father, I rise to decree and declare. And I declare this morning that you are reliable. I know your ways and always I will come to you, my God. Let me not follow my own template. Let me follow the template of the Lord. Father, we are grateful because as our current week starts and our current week will end and beyond this current week in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we thank you. You are hearkening to us and you are hearkening hearkening to our prayers. You are hearkening to the desires of our heart. You are hearkening to our prayers for help. You are hearkening to the desires and the cry for healing in our bodies, in our mental state, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, it is my time. Any boardroom that I will enter this week, I decree and I declare that it was it will be my turn. It will be my time. And my God, I will be ready and I will produce. Opportunities shall speak for me. Those documents shall be presented for me to sign. I am taking over major deals in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, we will not play small in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every offer of employment that will be tabled in this week shall be beyond, three times beyond what they even advertised it for in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, is somebody shouting, it is my time. It is my time. It is my time. Oh, I hear the Lord say, it is my time. For those who are rising to declare it this morning, it is my time. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of life that you have given us. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of life that you have given to our family. And Lord, we, we thank you, Lord, that it's just no ordinary and ordinary life. It is not a mediocre life. It is a life of abundance. My God, let my dreams not be shrinked and limited. Let my dreams be magnified. Let my dreams not only be about a one story, but be a double story, three story, four story. Let my okari asunda expand me, oh God. Expand my territory in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, I realize that as I speak, oh God, I realize that I'm speaking to a God that will not fail. You are a God that will not falter to walk. You will cause me to walk according to your will, according to your greatness in the name of Jesus Christ. As Moses came to your presence this morning, Lord, I come to you in the name of Jesus. Accept me, God. Grant me grace to pray. Grant me the grace to seek your face all the days of my life. My cause shall not go unattended my cause. God, you are mattering my cause. My matter shall not go untended. My God, matter my matter. This is my time. This is my time. This is my time. My matter shall be mattered, oh God. Power is exchanging hands from Akodia Sota Kaliyama Sonda. Oh, as the Lord lives, I will never wander away from your presence in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Do I have saints who are believing, who are shouting that amen well in the name of Jesus Christ. I 
and the ones that you have given me, we will serve you. Mine and my family, we will serve you. Our peoples will serve you. In the name of Jesus, everybody and the sound of my voice uh, will serve you. In the name of Jesus Christ, as we go into this week, uh, we urge you to stay in our that your presence will carry us and we will stay in your presence. In the name of Jesus Christ, uh, Father, we will not feel forsaken. You will not disappear. We will not disappear. We are being restored to the rightful place, to our first love. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is no other way where we can go. Lord, we plead. Attend uh, to all pending matters. Let all pending matters come up on the inbox tray. My God, I tend to all pending matters concerning my sake. My God, I tend to all pending matters concerning my family. My God, I tend to all pending matters concerning my documentation. My tenders, I tend to my matters. All pending tenders, all pending proposals, all pending business plans. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let them be dealt by your mercy and grace and favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God, my God, I reject, I reject all forms of spiritual deafness. My God, you are not deaf. You are hearing my prayers. You are hearing my requests. You are hearing my declarations. You are hearing every prophetic word that has been lingering from manifestation. Right now, Father God, I release storms of rain to water it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let every hanging prophecy begin to manifest right now in the name of Jesus. Every positive prophecy begin to manifest right now. Let your glory be seen in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, every hanging blessings, I pull you down in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, before this week is over, you will hear me clearly. Before this day is over, you are hearing me clearly. I know my God, as I am right Right now in this broadcast, uh, you are hearing me clearly. My God, uh, let the door of divine revelation not block for me in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I decree and I declare that every door of divine revelation is open unto everybody under the sound of my voice. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, uh, my God, my God, somebody shout it again. Uh, it is my time. Let your voice sort out all the confusion. I don't know what confusion has been lingering about your future and your destiny. Oh my God, this morning let my voice sort it out. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your voice speak, oh God. Let your voice speak, oh God. Speak, oh God. As I speak, the Holy Spirit speaks and the Holy Spirit says, I will sort out every single form of confusion and frustration in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will sort out when I speak. I, the Lord, will speak and you will see my speaking and it will manifest in the physical. Any form of confusion Confusion in your family shall be resolved in the name of Jesus Christ. Any confusion concerning your business, it is resolved in the name of Jesus Christ. Any confusion concerning your ministry, it is resolved in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, my Father, please do not leave me dry. Do not leave me dry. Speak, oh God, speak. I've been waiting for you to speak. Speak. Do not leave me dry, oh God. Do not leave me dry, oh God, wondering whether my prayers have been answered or not. Do not leave me dry. Can some Somebody shouted in the comment section. Tell the Lord, cry to the Lord and tell him, do not leave me dry. Father, I am tired of the dry season. I'm tired of the desert season. I am tired of the wilderness season. Do not leave me dry. Do not leave me dry. Do not leave me dry. Oh my God, I cannot be praying the same prayer point for five years. I cannot be retrenched for three years, two years, five years. I cannot. Do not leave me dry, my God. My God, I need to hear your voice. I need to experience your peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, do not leave me dry. Do not leave me without the blueprint. Do not leave me without the map. I need to know where I'm going. I need to have the confidence and the peace to know where I'm going. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my Father, we have risen this morning to say we crave the clarity. We crave the clarity. We crave clarity. Clarify it, O oh God.
Clarify where I don't understand. Clarify where you still want me to work on. Clarify if I'm still in the processing room. Clarify if you are still shining me before I become the diamond you have intended to me. Clarify so that I can at least develop an extra patience. Oh my God, do not leave me dry. Do not leave me dry. Do not leave me dry. Oh God, give me a word this morning. Give me a word that will help me to move on to the next day. Give me a word that will help me push the whole week. Give me a word that will push me the whole June. Give me a word that will push me the whole year. Oh God, do not leave me dry. Do not leave me dry. Do not leave me dry that I become a mockery of Sangomas. Do not leave me dry that I become a mockery of soothsayers. Do not leave me dry that I become a mockery and a laughter to others who are wondering whether I am called or not. Do not leave me dry to people who laugh at me and say, how long has she been a Christian? How long has he been a Christian? Is God answering to not leave me dry. Do not leave me dry. It is my time. It is my turn. It is my season. I will manifest. It is my time. It is my season. It is my time in Jesus mighty name. Oh, yaba. Father, let me not pray for the errors of people that went before me. Let me not even pray for errors that I sabotage myself on. Let me not pray. Let me not pay for the sins of others. Let me not pay for the sins of those that I don't know what they did before. Let me not pay for covenants that were made on altars that were made before I was even born. Let me not pay. Redeem me, Lord. Let your redemption speak. Let your redemption speak. Anybody who has rejected me, let your redemption speak. Teach my words. Teach my mouth to war. Teach my tongue to speak rightly, continually, in the name of Jesus. Surely there is an end and my expectations shall not be cut off. Father, when you said it, you gave me the assurance. You said, surely there is an end. Your people are crying, oh God. They are listening to the voice that I'm speaking through. And Lord, they are crying. They are cries they have been crying. Lord, surely there is an end. There is an end to a suffering. Surely the expectations shall not be cut off and shall manifest in this week. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Lord, we receive a return of all that has been lost. Lord, we receive a return of all that has been lost in multiple folds. We receive a return. Restore, oh Lord, restore, restore, restore. Ah, let the anointing that will fall upon us this morning never run dry. Restore everything we have lost, Lord, in multiples, in our life, in our season, oh God. Father, this is not the full stop. This is a new chapter for us in this week. I decree and I declare a restoration. All your possessions are coming back. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, others might have received and the things have passed. They might have wronged you, but Lord, restore. My God, restore. Every rightful inheritance, somebody who has been fought is listening to me right now. They fought you against your rightful inheritance from your parents. That sibling that fought you, my God, Karia. Lord, restore. Lord, use my meta to set a positive legacy. Use my meta to set a positive legacy. In this month, and beyond this month, let every calendar month set a record for my generation. 
Father, let me be a trendsetter. Let me set a record every month. Every single person at the sound of my voice. Declare it right now. Let every single calendar month set a record of who you are. Let the Lord use you and your family as a model for the kingdom of God and its righteousness. Father, I decree and I declare that June 12 shall answer to us. This week shall answer to us. This month shall answer to us. This year shall answer to us. I decree and I declare. Everybody at the sound of my voice on Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok, and those who will watch the replay, I don't know how you will get it, whether you will get it as an MP3 on WhatsApp. I decree and I declare as you plug in into this high voltage. God, they guess you get it. 2023 shall truly be your year. Whatever you expect in your heart, 2023 must answer to you. 2023 must answer to your family. And it must answer positively and for good. 2023 must answer for good and it must answer positively. I decree and I declare that 2023 will be peace on every side. In the name of Jesus. 2023 will reveal a new name in Christ. 2023 will bring forth remembrance for you. In this year, 2023, in this week of June, in this month of June and beyond, the laws of life will answer to you. The laws of grace will answer to you positively. The laws of relationships will answer to you positively. The laws of a new beginning shall answer to you positively in the name of Jesus Christ. The laws of life, the everything concerning nature, anything around you shall answer positively for you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, I call it done. I call it done. Kashoko Oh my God, you have told us that persecution will surely come, but there is a point of deliverance. It is our time, it is our season, it is our time, it is our turn. Salvation has come, deliverance has come. Whatever intolerance, my God, we will no longer be tolerated. We will be celebrated in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, I thank you. I decree and I declare that you will testify of the goodness of the Lord. You will testify of the goodness of the Lord. Oh, all of you are in the spirit. I decree and I declare that you will testify. Oh my God. You will testify in the order of Psalm 71. There is a point where they say it is the goodness of the Lord. And you shall testify of his righteousness. Somebody declared in the comment section, I shall testify. It is my time to testify. I shall testify. You shall testify of the faithfulness of God. He is a faithful God. He will show you his faithfulness. Even in the midst of any upheaval, even in the midst of any trouble that you find yourself in, you will testify. Anything that tries to prevail against the word of God, you will prevail against the prevailers. Shut up. Whatever is prevailing around the world, whatever is prevailing around other nations, whatever recession is prevailing, my God and my God, we shall prevail and we will overcome and we will win. We will taste the goodness of the Lord. It is your time to testify. You will testify of the goodness of the Lord. You shall testify. Oh, shout it again. It is my time to testify. You shall testify of his mercy. I said you will testify of his mercy. You will testify of his mercy. Jesus said to the man he healed, he says, go back and go and show powerful people how merciful the Lord has been to you. Mark chapter 5. Go and show people how merciful the Lord has been to you. This year, this month, this day, this week, you will testify of the mercies of the Lord. Somebody shout it again. I will testify. I will testify of the mercies of the Lord. My God, I decree and I hear it. You are, the Lord says you shall testify of his power. Ah, 
Father, I stand on Psalm 71. I decree and I declare. I will testify of your power in the name of Jesus Christ. Those that are at the sound of my voice will testify of your power in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will display his power in your life in this week and beyond. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will display his power in the lives of your family in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is going to display his power to everybody who's at the sound of my voice right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The power to heal is available. The power to deliver is available. The power to keep you going is available. The power to testify is available. Receive it now in the name of Jesus Christ. I release the power of God right now. The Bible says you shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you will be witnesses. Can you tell your neighbor, it is my time to testify. I am ready to be a witness. I'm a witness. I'm a witness. I'm a witness. I shall testify. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Those of you who are born again, receive. If you are not born again right now, I want you to sound a resounding amen. I'm going to pray this prayer very fast. Father, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I receive you in my life as my Lord and personal Savior. I believe that your son is Jesus Christ. He died and rose again on the third day for my sake, that I may become born again. I accept and I believe. I died with him and I rose with him. I decree and I declare that I'm born again. I'm a child of God. I'm a son of God. I'm a daughter of God. In Jesus' mighty name, nothing shall by any means harm me anymore. I now walk in the order of divine blessings and divine prosperity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I am elevated to sit in the high places with Christ Jesus. I am an heir to the kingdom and the inheritance that you have also given to your son. I believe in your Holy Spirit. And right now, Holy Spirit, I receive you. I am born again. Come live inside of me. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shout a resounding amen if you believe it. And you are accepting that prayer and you are making that commitment and vow in Jesus' name. Shout that believing amen. Oh, I shall be a witness. I sh I'm waiting for those amen so that I can see how many souls have I, de I have depopulated from hell. I want to see how many have done that amen, that amen. I want to see how I have populated heaven. I did not wake up this morning just to shout for nothing. I woke up this morning to make sure I increase the kingdom of God. You will testify. You will testify. I hear the spirit of the Lord saying that you will testify of the wonders of the Lord. You will testify of his wonders. Our God is about to display the wonders in your time. The wonders of your time, not out of season. Somebody say, display your wonders, oh God. Display your wonders in this week in the name of Jesus Christ. You will testify. Shout it again for me and tell me I will testify. Show me you believe it and type it. I will testify. I will testify. I will testify of his salvation. The greatest miracle of life is the salvation. When I led you on that salvation prayer, my God, that is the biggest testimony. You should clap hands for yourself. Make sure you inbox me and tell me, Pastor, I prayed that prayer of salvation. I want to rejoice with you. The kingdom has increased in the name of Jesus Christ. Display your wonders, oh God. I will testify of the salvation of the Lord. I am saved. I'm a saved child of God. God, I am saved. Salvation shall be my portion. Salvation shall be our portion. We are saved. We will be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. I will testify. Somebody shouted again. I will testify to the ends of the earth. You will testify in your locality, in your community, in your province, in your nation, in your city, your, your country. You will testify. You are a witness. You will testify. You will testify of the power of the Lord. You will testify of the wonders of the Lord. You will testify outside your locality. You will not be a local champion. You will testify everywhere. Rejoice. Everything will turn around for your good. Rejoice. Everything will turn around for your good. Your testimony will reverberate. It will be like waves. You will reverberate like this. You will arise. You will arise. You will arise from your sick bed and begin to testify of your healing. Right now. Arise and testify of your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. God is releasing favor to you. God is releasing favor right now because of you. 
God is releasing favor in your family. They are going to be saved because of you. They are going to be favored because of you. You will become a wonder to many. Oh my God. I decree and I declare that you will become a wonder to many. Goodness is coming your way. Trust in Jehovah. I release goodness in your sake. In Jesus' mighty name. I command you to rise up. Ah, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. Rise up. Tell your neighbor, rise up. Rise up. Rise up. The Lord has begun to do some healings right now. I command her to rise up in the name of Jesus Christ. Every prayer, every rise up. Oh, she is healed in the name of Jesus Christ. You will testify. Father, we believe you. Father, we confess you are Lord. We believe you. We don't believe any other God. We can't, we, we can't put our, our 150% on medicine. We believe you. Medicine will do what it needs to do, but Lord, we are rising up. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, rise up. My master, my father, my daddy, in Jesus' name, let your word overtake my hearers. Let your word overtake my hearers. Let faith be born in their hearts. I pray for you this morning that the words of the Lord will overtake you. Your faith will be born in, in your heart and it will grow. It will increase in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you for giving, giving them appropriate testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for giving them appropriate evidence that they've been waiting for you, that they will continue to trust you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray this in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Spirit, thank you for honoring us with your presence. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say it again, it is my time to testify. Lord, we thank you for uncountable blessings. We thank you for uncountable blessings physically, spiritually, emotionally, everywhere. We thank you for healings all around in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, for upholding us. Everything shall run swiftly for us in this week. In Jesus' mighty name. This week shall speak for us positive things. This week shall speak goodness for us in Jesus' mighty name. Oh God, cause us to laugh this week in the name of Jesus Christ. The lines are falling unto us in pleasant places. We have a goodly heritage. We are walking into our wealthy places in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare, everybody who's still here, you are walking into your wealthy place in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive wisdom, receive knowledge, receive understanding to direct all your affairs this week in the name of Jesus Christ. You will increase in leaps and bounds in all your affairs in this week. Everything that you do, you will increase in leaps and bounds in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Thank you so much for everybody that has tuned in. Thank you for those of you on Facebook and on TikTok and on YouTube. I love you as always. Go out and conquer and win. This is your week. Remember who you are and remember where you are seated. You are seated in heavenly places. Make sure you don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Come back on the YouTube if you want to watch the replay. Those of you on TikTok, you know what to do. You do the same. Thank you for every person that has given. I pray for those who are giving. I pray for those who are tithing. Um, I pray for those who always give offerings. I pray for everybody who's just instrumental, who always makes this happen. I pray for you guys who show up because a preacher without 
a congregation. It's just empty ground. So I thank you for coming through and standing up. I thank you for rising up. I thank you for you guys who are always here. And I pray that the goodness of the Lord will continue to show itself. And I love the testimonies. Keep on writing to me. Inbox me, Facebook, Instagram, on the WhatsApp. Okay. Um, I believe by this week, if there is a way of TikTok allowing us to put a WhatsApp link, it will be easier for you to just click on the WhatsApp group. I will attend to, I'm behind on admin, but I will attend to everything. Everybody who has sent me the WhatsApps, I will attend to adding you in the group as well in Jesus name. Have a beautiful and awesome day. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. You are seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. This week you are above from every attack of any principality, any power. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed. God bless you.